It's sundown in Grasslands National Park, and researchers are gathering to look for one of the rarest animals on the planet, the black-footed ferret. But first there are some preparations that have to be made. All right, so we're getting ready to go out ferreting tonight, and uh, in order to protect us from rattlesnakes, which um, are out in the summer when it's warm enough, uh, we're putting snake shops on. And we'll also spray spray our ankles with DEET to uh, help protect us from getting any bites from fleas or, um, or ticks. Using powerful spotlights, they look for the reflection of the ferret's eyes. But not every set of eyes belongs to a ferret. So if we see a badger or a weasel or anything else of interest, then we mark where we've seen it. Mark it's okay. What did we have here? Uh, we had a badger here. How long do you walk normally in a night, do you think? How many hours? Yeah. About five to six. How many kilometers do you think you'd cover in that amount? <laughs> uh, it depends how fast you are. <laughs> Up to what, so 28 is the yeah. back of the park, so you just have to go... Yeah, that's right. These researchers walk up to 28 kilometers a night looking for ferrets. And on this particular night, we didn't find any ferrets. I ended up with a big blister on my heel. So I walked back to the truck and fell asleep under that starry Saskatchewan sky. I woke up at dawn and spent the rest of the day poking around the park before rejoining the searchers that night and trying again. And around one o'clock in the morning, the call came. Yep. She would be a year when she was released yes, last year, so she's two. They are just the cutest little killers, these black-footed ferrets. Sad. It's really quite an amazing thing to think that not very long ago, these guys were thought to be extinct. But thanks to captive breeding, they've been brought back. And after being gone for more than 70 years from grasslands, they're back feeding on the prairie dogs again. Thanks to the efforts of Parks Canada, all the researchers, the breeding facilities, black-footed ferrets are now back where they belong in Grasslands National Park. Let's hope that this time they can stay.